breakfast in bed is a luxury most of us enjoy these days, even if it's probably only once a year on holiday. In any case, it's not the same at home somehow. Breakfast in bed is a morale-building occasion which needs the luxury atmosphere of a sun-drenched hotel suite. And if the bedroom has panoramic sea views, so much the better. Talking about atmosphere, the decor of a hotel can be all important. Different rooms need different atmospheres. The designers of this drawing room, for example, have created an effect of tranquility and warmth. This atmosphere is particularly noteworthy because we're really on board the first floating hotel, the 33,000-ton Transvaal Castle, which operates from England to South Africa and back. Hotel, because passengers have the run of the ship, whether they book a single berth or a complete suite, dispensing with class barriers in the real sense. The 6,000-mile voyage from Southampton to Cape Town takes 13 and a half days, which, of course, is a holiday in itself. And if you pull a muscle or slip a disc, there's even a physiotherapist department close at hand. from the maddening traffic jams of home, one welcomes the sight of another ship of the line. Although passengers who prefer complete isolation can just pretend not to see her. The only stop en route is at Las Palmas, one of the Canary Islands. And if you're really lazy, you don't have to go ashore. You can let the locals come to you. mentioned the different moods created by the design team, here's something quite unique. Based on archaic Persian motifs, the Golden Room, as it's called, resembles a setting from the Arabian Nights, being enclosed like a palace courtyard at night and in the day opening out onto the swimming pool. Actually, in some respects, the modern liner is more like a small town than a hotel. Apart from such regular amenities as swimming pools, cinemas, shops, gymnasiums, nurseries, this one even has its own youth club. such healthy competition these days between air and shipping lines, it's not surprising that the standards of travel have gone up in leaps and bounds. Mind you, the only snag here is that the journey takes just under two weeks. That's not long enough for a ship like this. 